The Indian media is suffering from chronic explosive diarrhea after Imran Khan's speech at the UNGA. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Alright guys, I want you to be serious yeah. Here we've got a very intense debate taking place yeah. It's very intense with what looks like half of the population of India. Alright, as I'm sure you heard, some very articulate and interesting points being made. So let's see what these guys have to bring to the table. But why was there nobody there listening to him? Because the entire hall was empty today. Look at the picture, there's nobody there. Yes, Anup Goswami, the room is clearly empty. <laughs> yes. Guys, when's the last time this guy went to the opticians? I think he's legally blind. How are you able to present a show when you're blind? Yeah, I think that's talent right there. Let's have a look at Modi. Wow. <laughs> that's just embarrassing, mate. 17 times he said, I'm a poor country. I'm a poor country. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't say that at all. In fact, anyone with any basic understanding of the English language wouldn't say that. That's something a madman would do. The definition of a madman is a man who addresses himself and goes on non-stop. <laughs> Look, Arnab. I've got to ask, what dictionary are you using? Because son, putter, whichever dictionary it is, burn it. Get rid of it. Wipe it from the face of this earth, mate. Don't let it get into the hands of another person. And you know what, mate? According to your definition, someone who eats his own leg isn't classed as a madman. What is this? Seriously? All right, maybe I'm being too harsh and maybe I've got a cold shoulder. Let's see what the standard of English of your guests are. Damn what what did you doing? do? Right. What did you do, 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 do? Either this guy's got a serious bout of Tourette's or this is the sound effects guy that Bollywood uses. You did, you did. I always wondered where Bollywood got his sound effects from. And so when Imran Khan went and said there that we have no money, we have no money, we have no money. Damn it guys, he jammed again. Someone changes batteries. We don't have an extended warranty on this bloke here, yeah? so we gotta keep him going. Damn it, you said that! Calm down bruv, have a biscuit. You're spitting all over the place. I can be very rude as you know. Meri baat sun, putar, gussa thuk de. Spit out your anger mate. Yeah, that sounds dead in English. That Imran Khan is obsessed with India. He's completely obsessed, obsessed to the power of infinity. Whoa! To the power of infinity, mate! I think you've been watching too much Toy Story and skipping those maths lessons because, boy, they're taking a hit. He kept rambling and rambling and repeating Prime Minister Modi's name about a hundred times. Hey, at least he's come down from infinity to a hundred now, yeah? He's, you're still lacking, mate, yeah? I think you're off by two zeros. So yeah, these guys tried to find any insult from their crappy dictionary that they could find and tried to throw it on Imran Khan as best as they could. During that rambling speech. Blurted out the truth. At the buffoon that Imran Khan is. He was crying. Even crying and complaining. That man is a buffoon. Bramble and gloat. And it's your prime minister who's on substance abuse. An unstable rant. He's a crybaby and he has been ranting the same narrative. Yeah, that just made you look angry and pathetic. What, uh, Sambit Patra. Sambit Patra. Yeah, Sambit Patra. Sambit Patra. Oh, hello. He's malfunctioning again. Someone get the batteries. Boy, you gotta stop getting these Chinese batteries, mate. You need some Duracell up in here. And you know what? I think that's a sign. I gotta go before uncle gets on my case again. What did you do? Uh, uncle, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go now. Until next time, guys. Asalaamu Alaikum.